What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. There's something I've been kind of lacking on this channel. We've gone through everything from software to gear to setup, settings, all of that stuff. But one thing we've been kind of ignoring on this channel, and this is a tech-focused channel, is hardware. So I think I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos like this. Simple videos showing you guys how to install specific hardware components in your PCs. Now, I just put together my new PC in my new case, and I decided to record the entire process so that I would have the information to then relay to you guys. So without further ado, this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install a CPU. This could be pretty much generalized for installing any CPU, but in this video, I am installing a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. So without further ado, let's dive in. What do we have here? Not much going on in the back. Looks nice and clean. Pre-installed back plate. Um, so could cause some issues if you're using any uh, liquid coolers that do uh, require a back plate. But uh, most of them nowadays do not require a custom back plate. So the board itself looks beautiful. AMD Ryzen 7800X3D. Get this bad boy opened up and pop them in. More tape, all right, we can open her up. There she is. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we want to lift this up. Oh man, look at those beautiful pins right there. Very delicate pins. I suggest leaving this top cover on and it will pop off on its own once you install the CPU. Um, you don't want to damage any of those because if you do damage one of those pins, your motherboard is toast. We are going to, once again, ground ourselves by touching metal. You can touch the inside of your case. I'm touching the metal legs on my desk uh, that are on the floor um, because it is pretty good practice to put your CPU uh, and your RAM, things like that, in your motherboard before installing it in your case. Um, I would suggest doing that on the motherboard box itself uh, because it's cardboard so you don't have to worry about any static electricity happening there and burning out your parts. Um, you know, there is always the possibility of maybe a part coming at an arrival. Uh, I've had that happen to me in the past, but hopefully this time, fingers crossed, we have some good luck. So, we are now grounded. We are going to take our CPU out of its casing, pop this bad boy motherboard best way to go about doing this um, is there are notches as you can see right here there's a notch on top and a notch on the bottom notch on top notch on the bottom so this CPU that we're installing we're actually installing it perfectly like that with the logo facing the correct way that would be the way we want to install it and you don't want to drop it in there because like I said if you damage any of those pins you're in a lot of trouble so we want to kind of put it right here or maybe even from the side, this might be a better angle. We'll hold it like this, very low down, and kind of bring it over slightly, and just gently place it in. To come actually down in here. Just like that. Gentle, we did it. I think that went really smooth. So the way this works now is basically our processor is in there, it's under this black cover. Um, and when we go now and we Pull this lever down, you gotta give it some force, and we latch it under this notch right here. It should pop this cover off, so let's give it a shot. All right. Success, we did it, it popped off. You guys could see it in the overhead cam. That was pretty cool. So there you have it guys, that is how you install a CPU and specifically a Ryzen 7 7800X3D, but you can use these tips and this information basically installing any CPU. I hope this was able to help you guys. If it did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you wanna hang out with me live, I do stream on Twitch Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time with a link to that in the description below this video. But anyways guys, that's all from me. I want you to keep those hammers up and I'll see you next time.